hello welcome to this training video in this training video i'm going to show you how to manage user account on udo 17. you'll be able to know how to set different privileges for your users and how to restrict some users from some functions on udo database so let's dive into the database right now on the database you will see the app the menu here settings if you don't have access to this menu that means you you don't have the right to create user on your database so if you have this access to this setting so click on settings once you click on settings, you select the users, or you can go to users, user and companies, and then you have your users here. Then this is how to add a new user. Click on the add button, then provide a name for your staff or for your users. I'll call this for Sam and I will provide the email of Paul for Sam at gmail.com. Now you need to know that you can also set up uh, Udo without email address. In that case, if that user doesn't have email address and the user is not planning to send out any email to any partner. I mean customers, vendors, or anybody, you can use for Sam. But for this lesson, we we'll leave it an email address. Okay, so if Paul is working in sales as a junior sales staff, I will come to this under this sales. I would say Paul should access only his own document. That means Paul will not be able to see other salespeople document, nor will Paul be able to, you know, carry out some, you know, uh, managerial work in the sales department. But if Paul is the uh, head of department of sales, I will select administrator. So the same goes for other apps. If I don't want Paul to see sales app, I will select here right uh, if i don't want paul to access accounting i will disable from accounting and you see in accounting there are also privileges different level i'm not going to be able to break down what it means uh, but um, billing is the lowest in accounting and accountant is the highest in the accounting department so if i want paul to be able to create bills create invoices I'll just give it to him on billing now so um, Paul is salesperson and is the sales uh, higher sales level so I don't want Paul to access projects I don't want him to see appointments I don't want Paul to have access to inventory or perhaps I just give him users and I don't want Paul to see purchases so if you don't want that user to have access to that module you put it on the empty selection here and then that's all there's also a new app on do call with dashboard if you want Paul to have access to dashboard to make decision then you can add, add um, Paul right there then also once you're done you can click on save once you click on save the system will now send an email automatically to Paul to this email address for Paul to create his or uh, his password. Then also remember, if you want to set password for Paul manually, you can go to this action button and then you can change the password right here. So you have to enter the new password and you can provide the password to Paul then go ahead and create or click on change password then Paul 
you can now share this new password with four. Uh, what else can you find in pre preference? Um, in account security, there are two factors, authentication, and in the preference part, you can see if you want Udu to handle all the notifications that are coming in um, to four, you can select Udu to handle, or you want it to be handled by your own email server, you can as well select. Then don't forget signature so that anytime Paul is, you know, you want to add it, Paul could just need to go to his account and then click on my profile, and then Paul will be able to set his own uh, signature and makes it look beautiful. Okay, now so that's how to create and manage new users account. So if you go back to users, you see the list of users. Paul has not logged in yet. Once you logged in, you see the last, the latest authentication right here. So that's how you set um, user privileges. Now this is a single company uh, database. Uh, if 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 it was to be multi company, you will have opportunity to see the kind of company or what company should Paul have access to. So that's how to create uh, new users and also to manage an existing users. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you. See you in another video. Bye-bye.